it's easy to think that maybe because markets are bad at the moment that you, that one shouldn't invest but markets won't be bad forever um, and there is a need at the moment to um, reduce costs um, and get control of your business perhaps in a way that never has been before because of the current economic situation um, and in investing and purchasing this factory here it allows Cello to get all their operation in the UK or in Europe under, under one roof and we are able to have all our parts here, we're able to have our UK after sales service here and we have all our European manufacturing in under one roof and um, that gives us certain benefits I believe and reduces costs. We may have had to make the investment in the factory but the cost of producing a TV will actually fall by about 20% for, for the investment that we've made here. Another benefit of, 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 the, of this facility here now is that when, when a customer places an order, um, we can turn this order around very quickly from placing the order to the Far East and getting the product made here and then delivering to the customer all within a very specific time scale. Quality is everything to us. Um, I'm sure if you speak to our customers they will tell you that the quality of cello is actually a lot better um, than some of the number one brands and coming here um, allows us to, um, to um, really get a grip of total quality. Most of our competitors are making either in um, Turkey or in China um, and I believe that our products um, being made in the UK are significantly better than those products. What we're actually doing at this point is we're tidying up the unit so it looks exactly as the gold sample. So the unit that went into the laboratories and the third party testing areas, this is what we're now replicating. So at this point we're now checking for VGA features, we're checking the HDMI feature and we're also ensuring that the unit actually has no quality issues as far as pictures concerned and sounds concerned. So what we do here is we take the first 10 units from any production build and we place them on here for a life cycle check. So these units will actually run for the full length of the production build. What we're replicating within this room is actually what the consumer would see. So the quality guys will take out the TV from the production, unpack it as if they were a consumer and then they go through the full quality checks. So Having everything under the one roof with quality enables everybody to follow the culture of continuous improvement within Chilo. It's one of the things we've always prided ourselves on, on trying to make our systems and our processes more worthwhile and more proactive. So the data that we collect from our continuous improvement that we see through not only technical development, manufacturing, through to after sales, allows us then to be, as I say, more proactive rather than reactive to the market. We're able to analyse the data and use that data in a more positive approach to say what are the long-term issues that we're having as a business. Then we'll, therefore we can react to a situation with a lot more confidence knowing that we have the data around us that drives the business forward in the right direction. In the facility we have uh, about 45,000 square foot of storage for space and production space. Uh, we're currently running a single shift pattern which is eight hours per line per day. But the flexibility is that we just so that we can go to three ships per day, given a maximum output of about 2,000 TVs per day. Yes, of course customers can come here and see for themselves. We are, we are 40 minutes from um, Newcastle Airport. We, have all, we haven't had so many UK customers here yet, but about 60% of our business is not in the UK, and we've already had visits from Ireland, two customers from Germany, France coming today. So yes, we have continually customers coming here and everybody's been hugely impressed by what they've seen. Um, we've invested uh, money in this facility now um, in, a, in a time when things are very, very tough. Um, and they're seeing that we are committing to the brand and developing the brand, obviously, for the future.